Welcome to HoneyBook Onboarding. You're probably here because you recently purchased HoneyBook and you're wondering what to do next. In this video, we're really going to prioritize focusing on the very key areas where your time is best spent while getting started with HoneyBook. That way, everything is set up and ready to go so you can actually start to use the system. That being said, if you're looking for a more broad overview, we recommend checking out our HoneyBook orientations, which we offer live weekly over on our product education page, or you can check out the video recorded below. Otherwise, you can just hang out here and we'll dive right in. So let's get started. Here we are on the HoneyBook homepage. So this should look pretty familiar, but I'm gonna hop over here to this projects tab to show us the HoneyBook pipeline. So this is really gonna break down all the different jobs that you're working on and all the different people that you're working with. And it's even gonna go as far as breaking those things down into specific stages of your process. So you can customize these stages as well. I can scroll along here to see, you know, from the very beginning inquiry all the way through the final completion of the project. So we call them projects in HoneyBook. Little HoneyBook vocab for you. So, these stages actually are tied to some automation. So the inquiry stage here is always going to reflect those people who have not heard from you yet. Whereas the follow-up stage is going to um, categorize anybody who actually has received at least one message from you. So kind of a differentiator between the people who haven't heard from you yet and those who have at least received one message. So HoneyBook will automate that process for you in the pipeline, as well as proposal sent. So I'll go into it a little bit later. The proposal file is going to be the best file to send at the time of booking with your clients. So the system will track when that has happened and who falls into that category of your process. Plus it'll track when someone has signed a contract with you, which is part of that proposal file, and when someone has actually paid a first payment with you, which is also part of that proposal file. So these are the kind of the basics of introducing your account to you. So the HoneyBook pipeline up here, but I actually wanna spend some time going through this tools section. So I'm gonna hop up here and hover over our tools and I wanna take us to the HoneyBook contact form today. So this is one of the areas where you can really prioritize your time when you're setting up your account to make sure that you get all of your leads directly funneled into the system. So the HoneyBook contact form can actually replace whatever form you currently have on your website that you use to collect your leads. So if we click in here, we can see that we can actually customize this file to have whatever questions are important to us. So we can change any of this. We can click our cursor in and adjust any of this here. And I'm gonna open this menu here on the side too, just to highlight this direct link option. So this is actually a standalone version of your contact form. So you don't necessarily have to embed it onto your website in order to collect leads. You can also use this direct link function to share on social media, have a link in your Instagram bio, um, put it in your link tree, anything like that. This direct link is a great option um, to text out to clients or anything like that. So definitely use this direct link option. It's just its own custom URL. So you can use that with your clients. You should also definitely embed this contact form onto your website so that anyone who fills out that form will actually have a HoneyBook project automatically added to the pipeline on your behalf. And that way you do not have to manually add them every single time. Okay, so area number one of getting your account set up is working on this contact form, making sure it looks good. It's collecting all the information you need it to collect and then embedding it onto your website. A little pro tip here to actually find how to embed it onto your website, you can come down here to the Help Center. Um, you can search that Help Center and find the articles on embedding the contact form. And that'll walk you through the process of getting that onto your website. Another area where you should prioritize your time when getting your account set up is this template section. So actually if you've just purchased membership this is something that we'll do for you for the most part so our um, complimentary account setup is included with membership so when you purchase we'll send you some emails that'll prompt you to upload your files meaning your pricing and services any contracts that you like to use and any questionnaires and once you receive that information from you we'll build it out into this template section here for you and this is just going to make your life a lot easier in terms of saving you time so that your information will all be saved there is kind of a baseline for you to be able to 
interact with your clients, send them different information, collect payment from them, get contracts signed, that kind of a thing. So definitely spend some time setting up this section here. Things that we won't build out are email templates. So if you have consistent messaging you like to send to your clients, you'll want to do that here. You can just create a new email template. Um, packages, this is actually where we'll end up building in all your pricing and services. So this is where all that information lives. And I touched on contracts and questionnaires as well. So definitely spend some time in here kind of playing around and making sure that all this information for the most part um, is set up so that you're ready to go. Specifically, prioritizing setting up emails, packages, and contracts. And that'll make sure you have a really solid baseline to start booking your clients. So the final piece here, once you've you know, figured out how to add all your leads into the system, whether it be through the contact form or the direct link from that contact form as well, or even manually adding them, which is what we'll do in a second. Uh, once you get your leads into the system, you'll wanna know actually how to book your clients. So that's what we'll go through right now. So to manually add in a lead, you come over here and you click new project. There are some other options here, but for my new users, I always just say ignore those bottom three and we're just gonna start with new project. And that just makes sure that we're starting in the process chronologically. Usually what clients will do here is they'll start with something like the client's name and then describe whatever type of project it is that you're working on with this individual. So if it's a design project or if it's an event or whatever kind of project it is, that's how you'll want to title the name here for this job. You can assign it a type. So this is the type of work you'll be doing with the client. So you can choose from this list. You can also customize this list. Same thing for lead sources, you can customize this list. You have the project a date, if it's something like an event or um, if you're giving yourself a due date for this project, that's usually what you'll wanna put here. Go ahead and create it. Now it's gonna ask you to add in your client's contact information. So you can go ahead and add in their name, email, any other information you might wanna save about them and go ahead and click add. And now you're ready to start working with the client. So you've got this space where you've organized all the details about this job. You've got their contact information added. You've given them a title. We've got our activity feed here where we can message the client. So we can come in here to send them an email. But right now the client is ready to book. So I'm gonna come over here and click new file and I'm gonna send the client a proposal. So I teased at this a little bit during the beginning of the video. The proposal file is the best booking document to send. So this is gonna include a contract and invoice all in one, which is why it's the best file to send at the time of booking because more than likely you're gonna want your client to review the terms of service, sign the document, and then go ahead and pay you. And the proposal will put that all into one file. So we'll stop in here. We'll start with this blank version. And now we can see we have the option to add a new item. And it's actually gonna go ahead and pull in our packages list. This is from our master template section that I was just highlighting to you guys, which is why it's important to have your services and pricing built out there first. That way, when you go to send a bookable file to a client, all of your services are already included. So let's say this is the package your client's receiving from you. You can adjust anything you need, change the price maybe, change the services. Maybe they're not gonna receive this part of your package. We can adjust our payment schedule if we need to, click in to change the amount or click in to change the date. And then we have our contract down here. Now, when we're ready to send this off to the client, all we have to do is come down to the bottom or come to the side over here and click review email. It's gonna pull up our message that we're gonna send to our client, which we can adjust, add a personal touch if we need to, and go ahead and send it off. And now our client on their side is actually gonna be able to go through the document, sign off on the contract, and pay you. And you can see this has updated our activity feed as well. So to kind of put a recap on everything in terms of prioritizing your time with setting HoneyBook up, you wanna make sure that you know how to get all of your leads into the system as quickly as possible. You wanna make sure that your templates are set up to reflect your services, your contracts, any questionnaires, maybe some email messages as well. And then you can really start to use the system because once your leads are getting funneled in here, it's very easy to pop into the project that you're working on with the client. 
and start to send some messages to them. This is where your email templates come in handy. Or even send them some kind of document via the new file button. So it really is that simple in terms of prioritizing your time. I recommend checking out the contact form, checking out the templates section, and then really just starting to use the system to actually book your clients.